time, right? Okay, you got the message. Okay, we move from we move from 7 p.m. to about 6:15 there about, and uh, <laughs> we're trying to get used to this time. So if you're trying to get used to it, yeah, we're in the same boat. You trying to get used to it, and I'm trying to get used to it in here. We'll get uh, we'll get a hang of it somehow, some way. But nonetheless, I've got the finest lined up for you. And if you've been following on social media, we've got infertility coming our way. We did it once and we're doing it again. And I have the best to do it with. Yeah. My name is Onimisi Adaba. Thanks for joining in. If this is your first time in the men's room, well, welcome on board. We we used to do this at 7 o'clock, every Thursday at 7 o'clock. But this time around, we moved it to 6, uh, which is okay. But getting used to it, it's still convenient, so to speak, and all of that. So infertility, it's a big deal for us right now. For us men, you know, it's not just for the women. You know, marriages, you see marriages and, you know, it's, it's fruitless, so to speak, you know, childless. And it's just so easy and safe to, uh, no, not easy. It's so easy to point the finger to the, um, to the woman to think that, hey, I think she's the one, I think she's the one. But what if it's the guy? What if it's the guy? What if the fault is from the guy? And most times it is. Yeah, and so a man's fertility generally relies on the quantity and quality of his sperm. And um, if the number of uh, sperm a man ejaculates is low, or if a sperm are poor quality, it will be difficult and sometimes impossible for him to cause a pregnancy. That's what it's all about, and that's what we're going to be talking about. And I've got me in the house none other than the finest and the best in the industry himself. Um, I'm talking Dr. Abayomi Ajayi. He's a consultant, obstetrician, and gynecologist, managing director, Nordica Fertility Center. He's been here before. We've had a chat in this direction, and um, I thought it necessary to bring him in again, considering, you know, you know, you 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 have conversations with a whole lot of people, and you hear things, you see things, and somebody says somebody something to someone to someone, and you know that this is becoming a pandemic. This is becoming a major issue that should be talked about again and um, not just talked about and talked about but pointing in the right direction to say all right this is a problem this is the problem and we've got the solution there's a way out there are things you can do there are steps you can take these are the challenges and all of that you know most times we just sit down with the problem and i've got a problem i've got a problem and that's it no yes it's a problem what do we do about the are there ways out? Are there options? Are there alternatives? This is what the men's room is all about, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Thank you so much for coming, Doc. My pleasure, Nimisi. For a while, I thought you were not going to come. I thought I was going to be flying alone. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic no, no, and all no. of Hard that. Luck. Yeah, I'm yeah. terrible, but yeah, finally. Thank heavens you made it. Thank <laughs> you so much. Yeah? So, how have you been ever since? Well, the one thing or the other. Mm. You know? You've been busy on one project or the other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how's it coming? Well, 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 well. There, there's, we're, there. there's, we're hanging on. There's one that is, an, is for me, is a tongue twister. The last one I attended oh, with you guys. Oh, the endometriosis. Yeah, we could. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How is that project coming? It is. Good, good, good. Okay. So, like I did say earlier on, he's 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 the best, if not one of the finest in the industry, um, in this field, and um, he's had a whole lot of success stories and all of that. Tell me, in this industry, again, you've had a whole lot of success stories. How challenging has it been? What would you call your most difficult feat? Your most like, gosh, this is complex. How do I go about this? Have you had any like that? Well, I guess that happens every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> so it's like an emergency room you have. Um, oh, especially with this topic that we're discussing, yeah. you know. Um, it seems to be getting really, really, really bad. Right. And um, almost on a daily basis, you're confronted with some spam cans and mm -hmm. you're saying, okay, what am I really supposed to do with this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, we get by. Mm. Now, you see, the, um, the common causes for this, you know, ranges from, we don't know what it is, mm. to chromosomal or genetic causes, sure. infections, mm. um, prostate-related problems, you know, That's um, right. even drinking, lifestyle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Plays a big role in it. Yeah. Lifestyle. Too. Tell us, tell us about these. Okay. Um, there are some things that we do that affect us. 
bank accounts. Um, for example, the, the kind of uh, uh, food we eat, for example, mm. and uh, because we know that it's been shown that obese men tend to have lower sperm count than men who have normal weight. Mm. Okay, when every other thing is normal. Okay, and then the kind of uh, company probably that you keep, yeah. uh, people who engage in alcohol a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. the, the sperm count also is affected. Mm -hmm. Okay, and hard drugs really affect sperm mm -hmm. count. Mm -hmm. And uh, funny enough, even the, the kind of work we do sometimes can affect our sperm count. The kind of work we do? Yes. Uh, people in petrochemicals, they, sometimes they have some issues. Healing fumes. Exactly. And um, there was a study from France that showed that very well, that uh, people even working in fire stations were where the wild could do that also sometimes. And then there's some uh, things, drugs that some people also take that affect spam can't hear yeah. their knowledge, especially that's why we say it's safer for you not to use non-prescription drugs. Make sure that all the drugs you take are prescribed by your doctors. They say and they must be qualified. Yeah, yeah steroids. anabolic steroids for yeah. people who do six pack and yeah, whatever. Yeah, all of them six pack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I mean, it's better to have six cars than to have six cars. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe just have one pack and just leave it as it is. <laughs> you have all of them six packs and you're having problems down there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, but yeah. this these people do they know they know what they are going into by using some of these really? these drugs that yeah. uh, they have to build the body but also it kills uh, yeah, a certain yeah, part yeah. of the body. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And of course things like um, the way we Use cell phone, put where we store cell cell phone. Where they we begin, store cell phone? Yeah, the, the, you're not supposed to put it near the, the testes. I mean, wow. the farther away so from, the, yeah, so they have men and usually put the it pockets, in their pocket. Yes, yeah, so, yes. So we. All right, yes. word out. Word, I mean, you better get it out of the way. <laughs> laptop is not laptop. <laughs> <laughs> laptop is tabletop. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, pull my out of there. <laughs> my goodness. So laptop is... It's tabletop. Yeah. Put it on the table. Mm. Yeah, don't put it on your laps. So these are different things that just has a way of, um, or have ways of affecting this infertility. And these are things that people should check. Yeah. So people with this problem now, with this challenge, low sperm count, um, the, the um, what you call it, unhealthy or other, okay, low, the quality of the yeah, sperm as yeah, well, yeah. and um, erection and all of that. How do you deal with that? Okay, we try to differentiate between erectile problems mm -hmm. and fertility, okay? Uh, because uh, one of the things that, we, that gets mixed up most of the time is that men think because they have intercourse, mm -hmm. and therefore they are fertile, mm -hmm. all right? So they talk about, I have two hands, I have three hands. Yeah. No, but we always, I always take the opportunity to tell people that fertility and fertility are not interchangeable. Wow. Okay, so you could be the, 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 the dude in yeah, the you bedroom. You could be the stud, stallion. Seriously, you could be firing blanks. Mm. So the only way to find out is actually to do a proper test where they, you go to the laboratory yeah. and they do a spam count for you. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's when we can talk about the, the because there's some things that we look for in spam. Okay. What do you look for? We look at the number, okay, that's the density. How, how, what's it meant to read? Okay, uh, that's been changing over the years. About 30 years ago it was 40 million, then it turned to 20 million, now it's 15 million. That's normal. Okay, and then we look at um, the ability of the sperm cells to move, because no matter how many they are, if they cannot move, then they not. so we talk about motility, we talk about the morphology, the normal forms, okay? mm -hmm. and then uh, we look at what they look like, okay, and then we look at the abnormal forms, and then to top it up, sometimes we look at what the Y plus cells are, which okay. might just show you that there's an infection or just tail ties mm -hmm. of infection. So. Those are the things we look for in the sperm. Mm. But so nobody, um, you know, sometimes we get this thing that is almost laughable that people say, oh, my sperm is watery. Yes. And you say, how do you know that? Say, by looking at it. Mm. No, nobody can tell yeah. that sperm is watery by looking at it. You need to do the, the, the proper the, test. Exactly. Yeah. 
It is estimated that one in 20 men has some kind of fertility problem and low numbers of sperm in his um, ejaculate. However, only about one in every hundred men has no sperm as it's here. Yeah. That's also something that, well, maybe, you know, sometimes we, ch we, try, we try not to reel our figures, especially those of us who are not who are into fertility because we believe that maybe what we see is skewed. It might not be totally representative of, okay. of the community. Yeah. So for us to be able to say things like that, we need to look at the community entirely. Mm -hmm. But what, what we're seeing is alarming. For example, I tell you that um, we did a study in my clinic over 10 years. We saw that spam count has reduced about 30% in 10 years. So conveniently, like saying about 3% every year. So um, that's sometimes alarming. And on a daily basis, just like I said, you see a lot of men with no spam count also, mm. apart from low. I mean, sometimes you see 100,000. That's, that's like, it's really very bad. I mean, it's, it, do you have how many, how often do you have men coming up to say, hey, look, this is a problem? Because it's one thing for that problem to be there, especially when it has to do with the man. It's another for the man to be bold enough to say, hey, look, I need help. You know, because yeah. usually we find it hard to yell for help. So how often do men walk in to say, look, doc, I need help here? Oh, yeah, but it's really changing. Mm. I, I think thanks to people like you, mm. who are making, putting in the faces of people. Mm. We, a lot of people we see now are no longer acting the ostrich way that it used to happen before. I could remember a few years ago, 20 years, 20 years, 25 years ago, that actually I saw in a teaching hospital, a, a man actually holding on to the neck of the doctor and saying, you, you <laughs> see I'm a father, you know, but not, not, not anymore. We yeah. see that men now know that. Infertility yeah. is something that also happens in them, and therefore they, they we see sometimes even as the man who comes forward and says, you know what, I have a problem that we need to solve. So it's getting it's getting better now. Listen, we're talking infertility right here. Um, let's let's reel out the phone lines and then we'll take a break. And when we come back, so just we'll reel out the phone lines, hang on to the phone lines, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll pop the lines open again for you to call while I have a conversation with um, Dr. Ajayi. One, two, seven, seven. Zero, nine, nine, three. Zero, one, two, seven, seven, one, nine, nine, three. Zero, one, two, seven, seven, two, nine, nine, three. And zero, one, two, seven, seven, three, nine, nine, three. This is Nigeria Info. We are... The men's room right here. Onimisi Adaba, alongside Dr. Apayomi Ajayi, um, the uh, Managing Director of Nordica Fertility Center. And we're talking male fertility right here on the show. And, um, well, you got the lines earlier on. Um, you might want to call the... All right, let's pick this call and see who's on the line. If you've got a story. Hello? Hi. Good evening. How are you? You, you might want to turn down the volume of your set. All right, great. So what do you, what, what's your angle? Thanks for calling. Um, I've got the doctor here to respond to that. Yeah, well, the best way to get sperm for examination is by masturbation. Mm -hmm. uh, but for some people who cannot masturbate, then they can also do, they can have intercourse and interrupt it. Of course, we know the danger of that. Mm -hmm. You could lose some part of it. And okay. that, yeah, that might be not totally representative. That's why masturbation is the best way yeah. to do that. But, um, yeah, for some people they find it, for so many reasons, um, inconvenient, but it's still the best way yes. that we know how to. I mean, it's on medical grounds. Yeah. You know? Well, also there's some people who, you, there's a way that you can also use some, there's some uh, condoms that don't have the spermicidal. 
Okay. That could be used to collect the sperm and then we can analyze it. But um, it's still the best way is still masturbation. Closely to this, because um, somehow it, it's, it's flowing to this next angle that I have now. You know, we live in a very religious society and, you know, some might not even subscribe to what you're doing, you know. Um, you know, the many things that you do in the, um, um, procreation and all of that. What's your take and where is the line drawn? You know, uh, all of them religious um, tilt and, you know, the um, the science of, 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 of medicine, breakthroughs and, you know, the, what you do in, in your facility. Well, I usually try to uh, take away religion from yeah. what we do because this is science. But seriously, mm -hmm. I'm also a, a Christian, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I can tell you for free that there is nothing that we're doing there. Is. But it depends on how you see it. We, mm -hmm. know, we don't try. It. Yeah, we don't impose our views on you. Mm -hmm. If you're not cool with it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But um, what I say sometimes is that. We should not be, we should not discriminate with that technology. Mm. Okay, if you if you embrace part of technology, but if you say okay, fine, there are some things you're not comfortable with. Mm. But the first thing that you need to understand how this works before you start saying okay, I'm not comfortable because the majority of the people don't even understand how it works. Mm. They just sit from afar and say, oh yeah, we don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. perspective. Yeah, yeah. So knowing that fertility decreases, you know, with um, age, age mm -hmm. and um, it also affects the quality and the quantity yep. um, for the eggs in women. Now, the women can actually but freeze their eggs. But men too. Exactly. My point is, while the women can freeze their eggs for yep. a while, what happens to men? The man can also freeze his sperm. Really? For oh, sure. Mm. Yeah. We can also do even, for, for example, for men, young boys also, who have cancer mm -hmm. and they want to for the therapy it's mm -hmm. possible for them to store mm -hmm. the sperm is even for them before they go for the for the treatment yeah which can be used later on okay yeah. wow that's good good to know now um still just bothered about the rise in male fertility mm. and um one thing you said that gladdens my heart is the fact that people are coming men are actually mm -hmm. coming out now mm -hmm. to say hey look uh, here it is, I need help. Um, I don't think we have this going on and all of that. And uh, do you see an end to this? Well, I don't think so because um, the, one of the fa facts or the factors is that we don't even know everything that is causing infertility, especially in the man. It ranges. Exactly, because there's so many things that are being incriminated that seriously, I don't even want to talk about some of them on radio, mm -hmm. not to create fear, you mm -hmm. know, because household things, things that we use on a daily basis, some of them are being incriminated. So mm -hmm. seriously, we don't know all the factors. So the, what we try to do is to look at the preventable ones and the ones that we cannot totally prevent. So that's why lifestyle is something. That's why we're always happy on lifestyle, because that's is within our control mm. and we, mm. we can do everything to do that. And lifestyle borders on um, your drinking habits, your, your weight, smoking your habit, smoking your habits, weight, your, you know, yeah, your you know, food consumption, exactly, diet, that, and all exactly, of that. exactly. At least those are controllable. They're, they're controllable. But somebody comes and says, look, I've been doing all of these things and I have a healthy let me hold that and let's pick this corner. Let's see. Because you'll always have somebody who comes with some, except, hello? Hi, how are you? Great. All right, Vincent, thanks for calling in. What's your angle? Yeah. Yes. If I understand the question now, we're talking about contraception. That's yes. what it's asking. Yeah. A 
actually is the, <laughs> the opposite that we're discussing. <laughs> men were having problems yes. in trying to achieve yeah. conception. That's mm. what we're discussing. That's not what men we're discussing. Not who want to prevent pregnancy. That's exactly. a different discussion entirely. Yeah. Mm. yeah, of course, there are many ways, but I really don't want us to get it. You know, the deal now is, I mean, we're looking at people, men who are having problems, yeah. who are having issues, and, you know, the deal is just to point them in the right directions. If you're good and viral, my God, what can I say? <laughs> All right, let's pick this call. Hello? Hi, how are you? What's your name? All right, so talk to us. What's your angle? Yeah, uh, I just want to ask the doctor, uh, recently... Uh, for some time, I found out that I was having serious uh, uh, pains in my bones. As a matter of fact, it started something with uh, some pains in one of my scrotums. When it comes, it just enters inside my bones. I went to my doctor, I complained several times. The same morning, I was sent with a lot of things. At the end of the day, they say it's not that maybe it's a number problem. Of and eventually, I had to see a, a, a lab technician who was not signed in the center. I was going to go for a while, there was some things. Eventually, it was found out that I had some bacteria in my urine. Uh, it started the, um, and, uh, uh, the treatment. They gave it to the doctor, the doctor will come and force the doctor. But when I say find out that, I still have pains in my bones and uh, you know, uh, having uh, what do you call it, this thumbness, uh, thumbness, and tangent, uh, T I N D L I N D T I N T I N Tingling, tingling. Tingling, right? Tingling, tingling, and then this thumbness. So, uh, I go go and uh, find out that it's related to uh, infection. Because I want to, and recently, recently, uh, uh, the, uh, I have the test I, uh, I, that I was conducted from my spark card. It was a bit low, it was relatively really low. Uh, Do you have kids? Are you married? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not even, I'm not even thinking of kids. Okay. Oh, okay, so you're done and dusted. Okay. But, uh, but it's, it's a concern to me. Because, uh, if it's infection related and something uh, related, I really want the solution to it. Yes. All right, then. So I want for HIV. I'm just the button was found out. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Okay, okay. Mr. Oku. I, I guess we probably um, what you're saying seems. Mm -hmm. To have so many components mm. so i guess either you go see a doctor who probably is more experienced than we you see or um if you send me a mail i could send you to one of one of the doctors that you could see and then we we'll take it from there we'll have you reel out your doc your, your details later yeah can we pick this call and let's see who hello 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 hi how are you I'm fine, thank you. Good, what's your name? Adewale is my name. All right, Adewale. So, yes. talk to us. Yes. Are you married? Are you a father? Yes, I'm a father. All right. I have two beautiful <laughs> Good to know. So, what's your angle? Now, I'm looking at this. Uh, the doctor said uh, for only one pharmacosua, we eventually fertilize it. And then the doctor has made measures of, of some other factors, like uh, the mobility, morphology, and then he mentioned spam count. And then I also noticed in his, uh, in his narration that uh, the spam count has been reducing over the years. Yes. It was 30, become 20 million, become 15, and that every year it, it, uh, it, 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 it keeps dropping. Now my question is, I don't know whether the question is hypothetical or not. Now, if only one is, is, is needed to, to fertilize an egg, and that the most important thing that is needed in the farm is uh, its mobility and its uh, morphology. Now, why does the number, what is the need for the number? Okay, if only one is needed, and like he said, 
Okay. The numbers have been reduced over the year. So it wants to seem to mean that maybe, maybe the number does not really matter. Maybe the spam count is not really the, the issue. So that's the way um, I, I, I might be wrong. But then I like, want to believe that maybe research or something has not got to the point to know that the issue really is not the spam count, but some other factor. All right. So um, let him attend. Let him attend to your um, your question right now, and then we'll move on. Doc? Well, Adewale, thank you for the question. Fantastic one. Um, but if you look at the most important quality of spam is the ability to move. I said that. But the num the number is so so very important because you know the task they perform is like you want to start a marathon or you need to. Uh, if you put um, the egg across the ocean mm. and they have to swim, mm. if you put only one, it's likely that only mm -hmm. that one will get drowned in the ocean. But if you put, let's say, about 100 of them, maybe one of them will be able to get there. Mm. So that's the analogy, that, the simple analogy. That's why we need quite a number. And then, but the way nature has done it again is that the moment one of them is able to enter, that's the it. egg seals it, seals its effort. Does not mean that's the only one that can get there, mm. but the first one that is normal that gets there is what seals it up. So, mm. the probability for them to be able to get there is what we don't know, and that's why uh, quite a number is needed. Mm. Okay, um, I think he he mis he misunderstood the um, reduction of uh, exactly. Uh, you probably will need to yeah. Wh what I said is that we see it's not. We are not the ones who determine what is normal, it's the World Health Organization. Mm. And about 30, 40 years ago, they said 40 million for you to be fertile. But about 20 years ago, it was reduced to about 20 million. And about five years ago or so, it was released to 15 million. Because we can see observationally that sperm count appears to be going down in the world. And, and then, then again, not sure of what is causing it. We we, it, we, we, it really, we really don't know. Yeah. I mean, there are so many factors involved. Initially, we were looking at only the genetic factors, yes. but now we know that they are both genetic and environmental factors. Yeah. What is it, particularly in the environment? There's 1,004 reasons why. <laughs> From gas, fumes, <laughs> to. Yeah, there are 1,004 <laughs> reasons, and so that's why some of them we just say, okay, fine, let's look at the one that we're sure about and we can also where you can deal with them is this hereditary can you oh, sure, sure 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 there's oh. some genetic part mm. of it component mm. of it but the, most of the time the genes and the environment also play together yes so that's why sometimes you see some people and that's why sometimes it's also bad to delay because some people they just start going downhill mm -hmm. yes and yes. they go downhill at a very fast rate because it depends on what they cause of this is. There's so many things that we know so much about the spam now that we never knew about 20 years ago. Such as? Oh, the, for example, we thought that the spam was the only function for it was just to fertilize the egg, mm. and that was it. But we now know that the early part of the uh, embryo life, embryonic life, that is determined by the quality of the sperm as well. Mm. So that's why you see some people get pregnant, they lose their pregnancy, what we call abortion or whatever, yes. and they have miscarriage, recurrent miscarriage. Sometimes it's the sperm. So, so it's not the woman now? It's so, not no, no, it's, so, it's not always the woman. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> because <laughs> there we go. So we, we're beginning to see so many things about the sperm now mm. that we, we are beginning, it's getting more and more important. That so, and so, so many tests are coming in now that we never had before. All right. Oh, oh. hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Good. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Mike. All right. So sh please just try and make it short and sharp. We're running out of time. Sorry, where is the pain again? The sacral bone or what is sacrum? The bone. Oh, the sacral bone, okay, fine. Okay. I don't know how you know where the sacrum is anyway. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Cool.
good. You see, this is okay. Thank you so much for calling. Really appreciate it. But you know, it's we're, we're talking male fertility. You know, and what you're reeling out is away from what we're talking about. You know, we're running out of time. Let's see if we can squeeze in one or two more calls. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Pardon. Okay. Wow. Okay. Go on. All right, thank you. The doc is here. Let's let's squeeze in one more. Yeah. And hopefully, hello. All right, so we missed that. So, um, yes. Um, well, sometimes let's get it right. Okay, when you ejaculate, there are two things there. There's the uh, uh, seminal fluid, mm. and then there's the sperm. Mm. Okay. So sometimes you could get the seminal fluid and there is no sperm cell. Okay. And sometimes the first thing that you need to look at is, is this person producing the sperm and it's going the wrong way? So what well, you need to check first and foremost is the urine. Okay. So such a person will tell them to give us urine immediately after intercourse. So mm. we, we can examine that. Okay. And then, but if it's not there, then you, you want to ask some questions. Mm. Has this person had surgery done? What kind of surgery has the person yeah, had done? All of them all those, yeah, and all yeah, of them. vasectomy. Yeah. And then also sometimes even the prostate could uh -huh. there give, you, give yeah. you that kind of picture. So those are the, well, when you talk about the prostate now, the prostate, does it matter the age, age well, of the person? The, of course the age matters. Mm -hmm. So because it's usually Young people advanced. don't have. Yeah, exactly. Well, depends on what you call that. Well, right. now. <laughs> don't make me look. <laughs> All right, when you are of age. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's the. But some young men do have some prostatic problems hmm. also. So, but it's. Uh, and diabetes also is one of the things yeah. that you need to rule out. So, there's so many things that. So it's not um, really. I find it intriguing to un, uh, realize that the sperm is not just for what it's meant for, but you know it has other, or you can attribute a whole lot of other things to the sperm against just you know um, procreating and all of that. Just like you said, that sometimes you know um, the woman's inability to hold the child could be as a result of oh yeah, it could be the man, yeah, it could just be the sperm mm. because the the embryo. Is a fusion of the sperm and the egg. Mm. So, and that's why you see men, older men. Unfortunately, we didn't talk about older men. Older men having children, and you see that some of them have some errors, yes. like uh, congenital abnormalities. They have a lot of recurrent miscarriages. Mm. You know? So, so the 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 man contributes sig significantly to no, the quality no, of the I baby. Would you want to come back again? I think we should. Anytime, we should. anytime. Good. We'll, we'll, we'll have this conversation again. Time just went like crazy, and uh, we've got to wrap up right now. Tell us what's new in Nordica. Okay. Oh, yep. It's not new, but on Saturday, because we, we always want, you know, what you can't imagine what you're doing, mm. getting people to know about their fertility. Mm. And so we do that in the clinic on Saturday. Mm. Every month, we usually call what, 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 what we call IVF and you, okay. where you can ask any question about reproduction, about yeah. IVF and mm. stuff like that. Mm. So one is happening on Saturday mm -hmm. in the clinic in Ikoi. Okay. Okay. Um, where in Iko is this? 106, 108 Norman Williams. Norman Williams, mm. 106, 108. You can't miss it. And if you want, you know, information, it's info at abayomiachai.org. Info at abayomiachai.org. Send, 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 a, send a mail in that direction and you'll get all the details you want. Thank you so much for coming, Doc. Really appreciate it and looking forward to us having it again. We'll talk about um, old men or elderly men, you know, later on and other things. There's just so much to talk about in this direction. Thank you so much for being a part of it at Men's Room NG. 
Nora, that Men's Room OJ, um, that's the Twitter handle. You can also check Men's Room OJ Facebook or my personal Twitter, my personal Facebook page, Onimisi Adaba. And um, let's keep the conversation going and make sure you check him out and um, get, get, get to know what's going on inside of you. All right, take good care. Good night and God bless you real quick. Please click on the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.